You're terrible at this, dude. Damn it, it's the truth. At least, I think it is. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings, but we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one, but that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yulven. I'll meet you there. All right. Well, um, I don't want to ask you any of these other what questions. Does this all mean? What is the meaning of this? What's the question mark about? Still here, huh? Can't quite decide if you want to hear what the cards say, can you? No, I don't. I don't care. All right. Let's go ahead and see what this journey will, uh, do. what is this? Dalentar stone? You discovered a lore stone, find- in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olaine's many feats of might, the pure, and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden nut. She is the pure seeker. The conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring of day. What? Oh, so the lore sto stones just get a bard to sing for for me. Here's a whatchamacallit. You look, you look pretty chilled out, though. All right, whatever. Look at that thing. This, you don't think that's weird? It seems to have the face of a person, but it's a bull. It's pretty creepy. Anyway. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna kill something that's not not doing anything. It's just it was just sitting there eating. All right, let's see what they're asking for here. Everyone just stand back. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on. They don't seem to be going anywhere. Oh, no. they A couple of them did go back to their business. All right, what's going on, fam? shop for supplies. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Oh. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. Oh. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. Oh. Well, I mean, it'd be nice if you didn't call them creatures, but okay. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, oh. although there's no way I can be sure. Oh. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, oh. even if she is a fay. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a oh. wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. She seems okay. I mean, literally, while we're just sitting here having a discussion, she's just rolling around. I don't think I think she'll live. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. All right, where can I find her? She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't oh. think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. 
All right. Hope you stay in town. Ugh. Whatever. Um. Ugh. All right. Uh. Yep, that's what we're doing. First, let's see if we can... I, I was about to say, I have a feeling that that there's special deliveries. Let's bring it out. It's special delivery. Why are its gates forever closed? These are the questions we all should be asking. Help me to expose the mission for what it truly is. A prison of ideas in which they hope to keep us locked away forever. But I tell you, your mind must not be caged. Hmm. That guy seems impressed. Ooh, crude iron daggers. I'll take that. Am I almost full? I know there's got to be a place to buy things, right? I remember this place. I was here quite often. What is this? Is this the place they're talking about? Oh, ma'am, you're pretty. Yep. I mean, my, my girl's pretty, too. But she looks too much like my, my ex... My ex was really pretty. <laughs> Avery, I came to Gor Gorehart to look after your kin. Rika is wonderful as you described, yet she is a shadow. She misses you, my friend, as do we all. I will watch over her since you cannot, and I will visit you often. But this war be damned. Who would have guessed I would come to to a mission and trade a prison for a cloister? If only we had both escaped. Alas, the bars were too strong, the Tuatha too cruel. Your brother-in-arms, Mason. Mason's a straight-up guy. All right. Mitharu believes in justice, in equality, in order. What order is there when few choose to subjugate the many? Insist that St. Odwigs admit monks of all sexes and races into its ranks, or tell them to peddle their poison elsewhere. Hmm, that is interesting. I'm assuming this is the place. Father Dinwell? Welcome to St. Odwig's perpetual mission. I would invite you in, but the Order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. We at St. Odwigs have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Mitharu be praised. His order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here, just off the road near the Fey Ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. Egan was last seen in the woods outside the walls, just north of the village. Bless you, child. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know the answer to that. That's weird. It's like loading twice. Oh, there's a little thing up here. Let's talk to this guy. 
Times are hard, but hard times can pay if you're willing to take risks. If you have the sword and stomach for this sort of work, we could use another strong arm among the Warsworn. Absolutely. Some may try to color it with fancy words, but we're warriors for hire, the best in these lands. Man, he's this guy. You'll find those who have taken the oath are held in the highest respect all over Amalur. Uh, what's the point of joining this thing? You could head straight to Shieldring Keep and pledge your sword. Might work, but a commendation from me would carry a lot of weight. I don't think I care that much. To earn it, you must do something commendable. There are two brothers, scoundrels of the Red Legion, named Osgar and Medgar Krash. I'm not even looking at them. Bring me proof you've dealt with them. I'll pay in coin and my good word. Right then. What? Like, uh, this, this is my thing. I don't want to be... I don't want to be joining... Yeah, it is. I don't want to be joining no army for people who are in... Ooh. What's that book? I want to join an army for people who could be discriminatory, you know? It's, it's, uh... No, before I was a little bit different, but now I'm just kind of... No, thank you. I am Katrin. Do you require my healing touch in mind, body, or both? Katrin... Uh, I I require your body healing. You are hot. Um, I'll say healing, whatever. All right. Let's say we go do some thingies. Save a elf. Find a guy and um, maybe destroy some dudes. I don't know. This thing sure takes a long time to load. Thought for sure we went up here. This thing got blocked. So we can't talk to her without finding the thing, right? Because I went here already. I mean, I don't want to kill people that aren't bothering me, but it seems like I'll need to if I want to get stronger. No credit for him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello. Yes? What could a mortal vagabond need with Kazmar and the Eternal, Messenger of the Fey Folk? Speak! My time may be of the ages, but it is still precious. Wait, Father Dinwell sent you, didn't he? Old fool. His path to power was too plodding, and now he wishes to slow me down, too. I have new friends, Fey friends. They are named Finna and Arbos and they have sworn to share their secrets with me and to gift me with true magic. In exchange, they want an ancient treasure buried in the caverns of Waterhall Down. I'll retrieve it, eventually, as soon as I, um, feel like it. <laughs> Fine, if you want to be so noble, but don't expect any of the treasure. This is my key into a powerful new future, a future full of magic and wonders. Let's go. It is in the caves of Waterhall Down, a refuge for the wild fae. See you later. You mean see you later? We were supposed to do this together. They say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not save forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artol, and Artol is older and strange. She could be mistaken for a fate weaver. So, when Lystrom came back to town, here was Artol the Oracular. I said to Lystrom, I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. <laughs> My, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> And once in a while, you will need to peck at things on the ground, and every morning, at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. Oh, I can fast travel to this location now? Okay. Oh, 
cafe. If we're going to press on, then I'll ask you to stay close. I have no courage to speak of. Honest. Ask Father Dinwell. Now why do you accept this thing? You're gonna get magic for what? Bye then. What do you mean by then? I wanna explore a little bit? What does the shadow prism do? Hmm. What's that all about? We must find the veil. Okay. Where's this dude supposed to be? He's just chilling, huh? I miss something over there, but whatever. Not in a thorough mood. We're getting close. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, sturdy gloves. Take it. Whatever. What's it all about? Is it? 
Okay. Taking too long for me to uh, re re up on that crap. Oh, this is a whole camp. Stupid. Ah, uh, whatever. All right, I'll fight you. Casperan will soon be rewarded. Okay. All right, come on, L L Lola. What was her name again? Lo Luana. Luana. <sighs> I had to take a long break because because of my daughter, my daughter. I'll teach her how to use the bla bay blade. Scarab salts. He's like, I got this. Should, what should I do with these shards? Oh, she can swim faster, too. What should I do with the shards? I, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Because a lot of times, all this collecting in the game means nothing. Like, I'm not a person who wants to do all of this. Like, oh, well, we smash all this stuff together. Hell no. Because I figure out uh, when I do all of that stuff, I don't use anything. All I do, all I do is beat people up, and and I do it without any hesitation. So I don't go, oh, hold on a second, let me buff, let me buff my characters real quick. I heal, and then that's it. <clears throat> I heal. I I stop myself with poisons. Oh, you want to fight? Okay, well, that's cool. Did I go up a level? I did. That works. Are you just doing sit-ups? I appreciate it. <laughs> Fine leather boots. Are they better than the ones I got? That's one thing I didn't notice. I didn't think about that I would have to. That picking the brute thing will will automatically keep me from from looking like a sexified angel. I will be like loading up on armor and shit and being slower. So that sucks. What's what's uh 
Hold on. What's up there? Ah, stupid camera. Oh, there's a guy down there. Okay. Let's see what... Oh, he wanted to fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he came out of that one. That's pretty impressive. Hmm. I guess I'll be looking for that guy. What the? Where's my dude? This guy, Finna. What is this? A little Egan has made a friend. Hm. I have a feeling this is going to be a problem. Obviously, anyone who has ever glimpsed a Fae would know that. Unlike little Egan here, your head holds more than fantasies. The Feylands are such fertile ground for games. The inhabitants are so oafish you can fill your pockets with hardly any effort. Are you going to give us what's rightfully ours, or do we need to start a new game? My brother and I are always ready to play. This is a tough one. I could smooth my way out of this one. So for some reason, I have... Oh, because of the... um. Because of, of the merchant shit. I could I could just fight him. I only have two choices to fight. Or I could just take the veil, but I don't want it to really. Cursed, is it? Huh. It does look like you are well acquainted with misfortune. Keep the veil, then. There are other treasures to be had in the Feylands. Make certain our paths do not cross again, or my brother will add his mark to your scars. You best get baby Egan back to his bassinet. His mother will be worried. I think I would have rather fight, uh, fought them, but okay. You best get baby Egan back to his bassinet. His... I... I didn't know. How could I? Before I came to Gorehart, I'd never known anyone outside my immediate family. Everything was so new, so magical. You must think me a fool. And Father Dinwell... Come, let's return to the mission. I must ask forgiveness of so many. Goodbye now. Sure, let's get out of here.